All right, the first thing, my name is Bezier, uh, the two profit, uh, project Bezier and then Africa United. The first project Bezier is focus of education to educate uh, the kids who are here in the United States and overseas in Africa. Uh, the overseas is all about where they came from because the identity of who they are is very important to be in the new society in the United States. The African United covers 60 states in New England. That's like Maine, New Hampshire, Connecticut, and all that. Uh, we do a lot of network. It's like we start doing a lot of stuff here in the business. Uh, we have a young lady who, a Cumberland, who have a small business. Uh, we help how to set up the business to be in the level of United States. Uh, we have other group in New Hampshire who does business like Salon, but they come in a different background. And here to have like Salon, you need to go to school. But back home in Africa, it's easy. Just you know how to do hair, you can open Salon. So African United focus more how to unite Africa among them through the business and let Americans understand who they are, what's their background, and what they want to do, getting new things in American community. Uh, Brief Future, we started like five years ago, still Accra on uh, high school, Poland High School, because high school is one of the, the old school in the United States, or the second one. But we have a lot of multi-culture, or multi-kids came from Rwanda, Burundi, uh, Zaire, Somalia, South Sudan, Russia. It's kind of a, a good background of multicultural. So Bradford should started to welcome them when they came in this country. Uh, one of the reasons we write the book about South Sudan, the first thing was South Sudan is a newborn. It just became a nation in 2021, uh, 2011. That's the vote, and then South Sudan became uh, one of the country from Africa. Because before South Sudan became a country, we have 53 countries. But when in 2011, when South Sudanese vote to separate from the north to be dependent, because right now Sudan is a big land in Africa, but now it divides the two. If I just want to make example like South Korea and North Korea. So since South Sudan became the last born African nation on 2011, so I'm originally from South Sudan, I'm original law, but I see that's the, the part of South Sudan, they need to be educated. Because to be a nation, it's not just a flag. So that's the reason we 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 done more than four books. And I have one here, or two of them, or three. This is talk about South Sudan. Uh, South Sudan is going to have a big population in Maine Pacific, maybe around 5,000. Uh, we educate them in, in the way it is to understand American system, especially in the level of the business, sometimes is the level of the kids. Because sending a child to the school without direction is hard. You got to make sure what the child really good on it, how what he's thinking, what he can, he can do. Because one of the things we decided a couple years ago to change the idea of, I know everybody likes to go to college, but we'll find out there's a hard time according to the child coming from different background, and he get in college, they just push him quick, he'll get in college, but he's gonna stuck there. And he's gonna create a debt for United States, and then he's gonna create uh, a slow him family, just like his mom is working housekeeping. But the mother was expecting when he graduated from college, he would get a good job. So we start directing them for the plumber, mechanic, welding machine. They would make money, decent money, and they still they will have a second chance to go to college. So what are your books that you use to, uh, for people to learn English as a second language? Uh, especially Hippo is right here. Uh, this Hippo is a burn, but all kids who born in Africa, they know about it. And we, what we did, we attached some stuff from the background of Africa. We attached some stuff in the United States. And we tried to make it, to make them attracted to English. Because since you, you're learning English and you find yourself that something from your background is inside the, the book, and plus with the new thing, it'd be easy to connect. The price of the book here is cheaper, but we have issue how to transfer the book from here to Africa. Because we have books all on Amazon in the United States. We print everything here, but the translation, like if I want to send a container, I'm talking about 6,000, the full container from the United States. If I just say Rwanda or Burundi or South Sudan, that the amount. Uh, right now we, we have other meeting coming up on uh, this month 
we're going to go to Washington, D.C. to reach out with other embassy. Because in D.C. we have more than 54 embassies of Africa. The whole continent are covered by that. Any country, he presents himself individually in, in Washington. So we have right now three countries, or four countries that are interested. One of them, Malawi, uh, Kenya, and then uh, Rwanda, and then Burundi. But we need to find a way how to reach those books to, uh, to their country. Right. Or the Immigrant Welcome Center, except the newcomer when they came here, they need direction in the welfare, how the green card process, our asylum issue, because we have a lot of them came here, they try to apply to asylum. When they came here, we help them how to direct them maybe to the lawyer, immigration lawyer, how to understand what the first step or second step. And me right now, we're working with uh, a young lady who have the, the, the store in Cumberland. Her name is Lucy. And we just get her the second store is going to be in the fourth album. So we're working with him, with her, sorry. And then working with other African uh, restaurant, our bar in St. John. We try to, to change the level where he have a small bar, but we try to get him a big place. He can be better to get more custom. Black Farms farming is, uh, we try to, to create our own farming, but the purpose of those African American who are already here, and then the new Africa who came from Africa. Even this Sunday's coming up, we have a meeting to bring the two communities together and to work together. Farming, uh, we can raise cow, we can raise goats, and because if they start doing that, they will find themselves, they're feeding themselves by themselves. Right now, to get m example, we have people who are Muslim. To get halal meat, they have to go all the way to Boston, sometimes to Connecticut. But through this program, if everything goes through the way we're planning, they will have the meat local. I understand that the welcoming center, immigrant center, has expanded to another floor. How's, how has this helped uh, you and the people you serve? Yeah, the full floor, the, we have the computer room, I believe it's a 20 computer. Uh, we're helping even a uh, student that will come to do other program. We're helping the hospital who right here in uh, Poland, uh, what they call uh, nurse, uh, what the nursing, uh, I think nursing program. Those people, they need, some of them, they have to have a skill in the computer. Some of them, they're coming from different background. So they will have a special training here. They'll be able to apply for the nursing of those small basic in hospital. This book is direct of the manual, I can call it like a manual. It direct what we're doing here and what other people, even part of the, the business people who are supporting us. Like in this business, we have like the lady who owned the coffee by design. That's a part of the people who behind the center to support us, sometimes to direct us. Because this center does two things, to bring Africa together and then bring American who they're willing to have the new migrant. And they will come to this center. And that's something awesome and we believe it will help to make life better. Yeah, we have a lot of information in this book, especially we have uh, our office for the lawyer, immigration lawyer here. You can get information how to to apply to the lawyer how to understand to go to your project. Uh, the other services, we have other companies who are looking for a new employment, like uh, hotels, some of them uh, coffee place, they're looking for new uh, employment. Tell me how you work from this center to build your second nonprofit, the uh, Africans United of New England. Yeah, the, the good thing since we have this center, I'm happy for myself. I feel like there's a place anybody can come. Uh, to us any information, especially we focus more about information, like somebody coming from Burundi or Rwanda or South Sudan, he is not familiar with the United States. And the good thing here, we have a brother and sister here, they speak Swahili, they speak Korean, they speak different language. Oh, they speak Arab, like me, I speak Arab. If somebody walk here, he will find himself that somebody can understand him even without to speak English. So for the other project of African United, we start to unite them among themselves in a different business. Because the goal to make it like a network. Because if you look at the United States, make America great more is about cooperation. When people work together, 
the, the business be built better than to be one person.